Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk and our third DLC, The Last Autumn. We also have the Fall of Winterfell to get through, but I'm going to put that up on Friday, along with uh, one of the Ostrid videos. So let's rock and roll with the new Autumn, a DLC that I have not touched. I have no idea what's going on. I see a bear, which looks really cool. The Empire is collapsing under the strain of climate catastrophe, yet no one is ready to admit it openly. A secret project to build generators is put into motion. Let's rock and roll! Personal Journal of Euphemia McLaughlin, Assistant Engineer at Imperial Exploration Company. It's been five weeks since we have left the familiar walls of Birmingham behind. Oh, I'm loving this already. Weeks of uncertainty, of struggle, of hope. And finally, we have reached the shores. We had three deaths so far. Or, small price for progress, as I.E. Seed called it. I can only hope I am going to avoid their fate. They've claimed there was nothing to fear. That this whole journey of ours was just a precaution. But now, it feels like the weather is changing. And the winter, the winter seems inevitable. Okay, so this is a precursor to the game. Oh damn, I... <laughs> Just every, every time I come back to this game and play something new, I can't wait for Frostpunk 2 to come out. Because I feel like even though this looks so freaking good, Frostpunk 2 is going to be even better. I know there's quite a high bar to hit, but hell just yes to everything. The last autumn, we crossed the rough to the northern seas to reach Site 113, where we are to build the Grace Marvel technology, a generator. The crew lured by the promise of a steady job and eager to leave the work ruts and broke queues behind, are somewhat taken aback by the sight of desolate landscapes surrounding the site. They are not told not to ask for details, and there's no turning back now. There's no census why this contract has such high priority considering the deteriorating situation of the empire but your superiors are clear this is the most important job of your life our queen and country let's go okay that's a very small build area holy crap that's a small build area Basic facilities, before you start building the generator, you have to set up basic supply infrastructure. This means building the docks and gathering resources piling up behind by them. We also need raw food source, a fishing harbor, or a forager's camp to set up food source somewhere in the plains. Okay, let's go ahead and pause before we make any rash decisions here. Steam cores, structural profiles, steel composites, and steam exchanges. Oh my giddy knickers. Right, okay, we have a relatively small map in, well actually I say relatively small, I think in the arcs we had an even smaller map. But I don't know whether, if we can build up here, then maybe it's not so small. But if we're only building here, it's absolutely freaking tiny. Right, research and build docks, start gathering resources piled up by the docks, build and activate the fishing harbour or set up a foragers camp okay i'm thinking fishing harbour would probably be better do we have to research it i'm going to say yes too close to the generator okay so you can't build stuff inside we can't build up there we can build there around there and all up here okay noted right let's try and keep that out of the way if we can um Let's start gathering what we have because we're going to need stuff. 
I don't know where I'm linking that to, just the inside, right -o. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We require tents that we can't make many of because we need to get some wood. That's a very different voice. <laughs> That's a very, very different voice indeed. First step, sir, our employer, the Imperial Exploration Company, has prepared the site for us. Besides, digging the enormous shaft to the underground part of the generator, left some construction materials behind to get us started. We should set up camp and clear the area around the shaft to make the space for construction facilities. I could not agree more. Let's get some research going. Uh, docks. Uh, don't we want the... Okay, we want the fishing harbour, I think, more than the actual foragers, I would say. Righto. I'm going to build... I don't know whether that removes trees. It does automatically remove trees. Okay, that's interesting. And we don't have enough wood. There we go. Solves that problem. Docks researched. Wonderful. How expensive are they? Not expensive at all. They are bloody ginormous though. Actually, I don't want to build that there. I want to build it closer to there so we're not using excess amounts of wood. Uh, in that case, you can research. Actually, let's get you over 15 research the second, second tier. Or not, because the ship's over. Idle hands. As the first work day exit, people start gathering in small groups to chat or play cards a couple of workers are throwing rocks down the huge central shaft deep in it <laughs> and to think we have to work down there out of boredom or maybe to exonerate their fears more workers join in sooner ha soon rocks start raining down the hole this might be dangerous but the camp offers very little entertainment uh, let them be Just let, let them be let them be for the moment uh, I want to get to the thing, but I need to wait until tomorrow. Actually, we can probably go ahead and do some more camps, can't we? Won't be a huge amount of work to uh, to get us back up to 50, I don't think. Yeah, I can do that. That's So I need 100 wood. 50 for the research and 50 for the... 50 for the research and 50 for the... Should we take them off? Because that's steel. Get on up. I'm going to produce wood at the moment because that's what we need the most. Telegraph station. Now that we have built the basic resource infrastructure, we can set about bringing more people and steam calls from England to do this. We have to set up a telegraph station. Oh, I do. And we have people getting ill. And we also need food. The cookhouse is going to be expensive. And there hits 50, right. Second tier of research, go. How have we managed to... Oh, is something finished? I think something must have finished. Okay, we pretty much... have the same thing going. Yeah, let's let's build a bathhouse. Everybody, new regulations. This leads to that'll be nice for people. Rise and shine. Pile up at the docks, sir. Resources are piling up at the docks. Let's start gathering them all. We won't be able to unload the ship soon. You could immediately sign people to gather them. Build a gathering post or two to be more efficient or research and build reloading station which would be the best solution. Ah. Interesting. Okay, we have tons of steel, so let's take them off there. We need wood. We just need wood. We just need wood. And lots of it. Okay, we need three more. Hey, oh! Right, let's see if we can get this bathhouse built. We can indeed, wonderful. 
not going to cover everyone, but it's better than nothing. And we will also... 20 wood and 25 steel. Okay, we can do that in the morning. will only go to occupy eight people okay maybe we can do that in the future but we need to we need to get some work done first right that is done so that's gonna require one steam core we have three okay I think probably the fishing harbor let's just do that because we have the resources to do it now and I need to set up a medical outpost tomorrow Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. Skeptic, you overheard two workers arguing over the reality of global cooling. You really, you really believe this is the end of the world rubbish. Me, I'm just here for the money. When we're done with this mad scheme, I can move my family out of St. Gills. Well, then you are a fool because you will die when the frost comes. He turns to you and <laughs> did the truth, sir. <laughs> oh god. Uh discontent will fall slightly. Motivation will rise slightly. Discontent will rise, motivation will rise. Well we've got tons of Let's just lower the let's lower the discontent. Let's lower the discontent. We got loads of motivation, we're doing fine. Um we can solve our own medical issue and we can build a telegraph station. What do you want? Treat the gravely ill. Not now. Oh, two of them went gravely. Oh, balls. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That was my cook up. Okay, let's get... How are we doing on food? We have tons of rations, but actually no food. Okay, that changes things slightly. Tech tree is done. Uh, yeah, let's do protective structures. And I think we can. Done basic docks. What did we want to. Eh, maybe it's just that. Okay. Right, let's get rid of that. The line is open. Good work on setting up a construction camp. Now that we have a line of communication, use it to request resources. We will provide what we can, but be aware your camp is not the only project with supply. There are two other construction projects in your area. Together, these three generators will shelter, will secure shelter for inhabitants of Liverpool should the worst come, should the worst happen. Their fate is in your hands. Do not let them down. Right oh. Can we have 10 steam cores? Or no, can we have two steam cores? Because then we won't need anything for a while hopefully in theory Shift's over. Stow your tools. uh we're building that okay and now we build to build and activate the fishing harbor which we can do easily tomorrow come on keep racking it through first death ah oh, god damn it how do we manage that one What do we need for it is 20, that will be done by the time that comes up. An engineer complains to you, so it seems I've been mistakenly lodged in a tent full of workers. Now you see I don't have anything against workers, but they're quite loud and well, they sort of smell. Can you make sure I get moved out to an engineer's tent? Yeah, fine, whatever. It makes you happy and it doesn't piss off anyone else, I guess. Do we actually have to build those? I guess not. <laughs> not entirely sure what else we're supposed to be doing here. Transport will arrive, wonderful. Um, yeah, I don't know what else we would need, quite honestly. Oh, we can do that. Can we do that? Make some protective structures. Can be safe. 
and do things, I guess. Fishing up uh, how many need? 40. <sighs> Sir, sh supply ships bring posts from the crew from time to time. For security reasons, all letters are open and read, but we some may sometimes ask you for we may sometimes ask you for instructions. In one case, this in this case, one of our people received a passionate letter from a lady friend, together with a highly suggestive photo. We to allow this shameless debauchery. Ah, oh, just leave him alone. Leave him alone. Just let him do his thing. Right. Uh, we need the... Uh, we need the wood. We want to build. The ship's over. Ah! Bollocks. So uh, people lack motivation to do their job properly, efficiency in all workplaces will suffer. We have to do something about it. Righto, I will. Oh god, we have no f fucking food. That probably doesn't help. There we go, right. Build the goddamn fishing thing. Ah! Right, um, we need book of law or something. Send them on home if they die. Release intentions. Uh, two of our people got into a fist fight apparently over the lewd photo that came by mail earlier. It was nothing too serious. Or one of the one of them's got a sprained wrist. The original recipient of the picture is clamoring to get it back, while the other man insists that he won it fair and square in the card of in a game of wrist. I don't know what the game of wrist is, but <laughs> it is difficult to tell who the truth lies. People seem to expect you to settle it. Confiscate the goddamn photo. Get it out of there. Now that the basic infrastructure is time to start with the construction generator, build profile manufacturer, then produce eight structural profiles that will allow you to set up the mine shaft. Oh my god. Okay, in that case, so we need eight of those. In that case, we're going to. We're going to need a hell of a lot of wood for this crap. Of course, it's a bloody 19, isn't it? Of course, it bloody is. When I need 20, of course, the wood stops at 19, doesn't it? Just my luck. People may be slightly starving. Those who gave to the service that Empire deserved the highest honour will send their bodies back to England in steel coffins and bury them at the company's expenses. Not just yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future, but not just yet. Actually, we could probably afford to make a second workshop can't we I would imagine Today. Jesus Christ it takes so long to do stuff I really want to do it but I need to increase the motivation get on up to increase the motivation. So, although many people back home are facing starvation, 
a well off relative of one of our engineers sent him a large parcel full of treats. We hold on to the food. It may start trouble, God forbid, fuel a parcel economy. <laughs> um Nah, let him have it. I don't want to We're only gonna end up causing problems. Damn it, we need multiple of these. Where else are we using engineers? We are not, so I need more. Need more engineers, matey. Christ, at this rate, we can get through about 10 days in a video. <laughs> uh, not going to do House of Pleasure. Hell no. I can help a bit. Rules and regulations have changed. do however also need to start getting we do need to start getting um, more steel as well because we're running out right that's that done um, that's expensive as hell, so we need a sawmill so that we can start picking up steel from here instead of the wood. Ships over. Because Stone we can't tools. do either of those. Oh, I just I finished something and I don't know what it was. <laughs> Oh, I finished the law. No, it was something else. I don't know what I finished. Anyway, ladies and gents, that is the end of day number 10. And we're at 30 minutes exactly of recording. So I'm going to go ahead and end episode 1 of the last autumn there. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And I'll see you in the next video.